you talked about technology and the web sort of eroding the, the glory days of talk shows. Conan, Conan and his people very much hope the web and technology are going to sort of restore the glory days. I mean, obviously, a lot of his career was greatly impacted by the web and social media and everyone just going ape shit about what was going on. Mm -hmm. um, then he goes on TBS, and I'm sure they thought this great tidal wave of young people on the web was going to translate to the biggest ratings you know, a cable talk show had ever had. And, it hasn't happened, and you see them continually trying experiments yeah. to leverage this website, and you yeah. know, going going to advertisers and saying, "Oh, but we've got this web tie-in," and you see them doing all these cheesy things in the show of, "Oh, here's Andy being manly, buy deodorant, go online and upload yourself being manly for some deodorant," and yep. it's, I mean, I did that. <laughs> I won did you deodorant. Win? Yes. <laughs> now, it, what it, do you think about? It's it's all very that. complicated. I think. I mean, first of all. The, the relationship between talk shows and the web is, is it's, it's, it's very difficult because what happens is, so here's, a, here's a good example. J Jimmy Kimmel, who, who, who's a, a, a terrific guy, they, they did that piece that you probably saw, it went viral uh, a few years ago with Sarah okay, Silverman. Matt Damon. Right, Sarah Silverman and Matt I'll Damon. I'll say it so you don't say it in front of your kids. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, so they do this piece and and it was fantastic. It was really one of the best things I'd seen produced in late night in a long time. It was, it was great. Now, that came to me. I, I saw it probably like most of you saw it on YouTube. I, someone you know, sent it to me, did you see this thing, whatever. You, you know, it, it comes to you and you click on that thing and I watched it and I was not disappointed and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. But at no point from that moment did I then go watch the Jimmy Kimmel show. Not because I don't like Jimmy. I, I will watch it on occasion, and I always have a good experience watching it. But my overwhelming thought was, great. If they do anything else that's super, super amazing, it will find me as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's a tricky thing. It happens to us as well. You know, we had, I don't know, I referred to this Joaquin Phoenix thing. You know, we, we've had our internet, uh, you know, explosion. Farrah Fawcett was on the show once, and or sort of was on the show and uh, <laughs> went nuts. And, uh, you know, that, that stuff will be seen by, you know, I don't know how many hits that has. You know, five, six, seven million people will see that. And in some way, that's great. You know, it's great for us. That's promotion. That reminds, you know, we're, we're not fighting for a brand, but we're always trying to remind people, hey, don't forget, you know, that guy you love, Dave, he's still out there getting it done. Look at this. So it seems great, but at the same time, it is also cannibalistic. And I don't think anyone's quite really figured out how to do that. Now, uh, most shows now are pulling everything off of YouTube. Mm -hmm. I think Stewart has pulled all their stuff off. Jimmy Kimmel now has started their own you know, channel to say, we need to monetize this in some way. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, the, the trick about the web, though, I think, is that people rally around. Conan was a cause. Mm -hmm. You know, Th There's a couple things that I think are interesting about Conan. First of all, I think one mistake people make with the web is they think, or Hollywood makes with the web, I think they think, okay, it's this amazing marketing thing, we're gonna go viral, all this stuff, we don't really understand how to do it, we're gonna do it, but they forget that ultimately the product does matter tremendously. Mm -hmm. Like the thing you have has to be really good. In Conan's case, he has a tremendous product. You know, Conan's really, really funny. His show, Night In and Night Out, is terrific. So when people kind of rallied around you know, Team Coco, mm -hmm. they were doing that because they thought, here's an awesome guy who's really funny kind of getting the shaft from NBC. Mm -hmm. So that kind of helped organize all of that. But does that translate into people tuning into a television show after all the, you know, after, after, the, he's after, been saved. after the police tape has been taken down, mm -hmm. does, 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 do they then tune in every night? I don't think they do that for, ev for anybody. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I think you can be a little bit fooled by that. 